Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. It's a new year and uh, I'm going to be covering wine. Pretty much everything from A to Z. Alright, I'm not really going to be covering everything from them. Unless I get around to it somehow. But I will be covering this specific A to Z wine. It's a 2016 Chardonnay from Oregon. 13% alcohol by volume and I paid $13 for it at my local grocery store. So first of all, screw top, plus one. That's never gonna get old, ever. So I bought this wine, and another one I'm gonna be reviewing here in a second, because I am going to be starting a new project. My wife is gonna be helping me with it, and um, eventually I'm going to be announcing it, and this is gonna be the wines, or one of the wines that I'm gonna be doing on this episode of that project. So in the meantime, Let's do a quick review. From a color standpoint, medium lemon. Yeah, medium lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. From a nose, getting apple, not really getting any oaked notes. Um, a delicious unoaked Chardonnay. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. Apple, lemon, maybe a hint of peach, medium nose. Pretty clean smelling, so that's nice. All right, so now the best part, the taste. Mm, medium plus on the acid. Uh, I'm gonna say medium plus body. Got a little bit of the lemon on the nose and a little bit of the peach. I'm getting more of the peach and the lemon on the palate. About a medium finish and apple, mid palate, right there, kind of sails all the way through to the end. I might be upgrading my 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 finish on this to a long. It's just keeps going, just keeps going. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna say long finish. It's still there. Yeah, still there. Just gonna let it keep on going. All right, you don't realize, but I actually had to clip out like 30 plus seconds of footage right there because I had an airplane passing over. Um, I'm still tasting this, and like the finish is still there. So uh, it has a very very long finish. But it's very clean. It's it's. I'm not gonna say it's simple, but it because there's it's kind of like a little bit of the stone fruit, and then there's a little some citrus. So it's not technically simple, but it's not overly complicated. So I'm gonna give you. Wow, man, this is. So I'm gonna give you a good, and here's why. If there, if I could get some additional complexity, like some minerality, some other things that maybe aren't gonna come from those secondary notes from the oak, then that, that would be really nice. So a little bit more complexity, like some salinity, minerality, chalkiness, something like that. Something more that you would find, like Farmer Chablis, that would probably be something that would get you to very good. If I could have, oh man, I don't know what would get you to great. It's, that would be a hard decision. I have to think about that. If I can think about what it is, I'll, I'll post it in the notes below on the, on the video. But that would definitely get you to very good at the least. So yeah, you're a good wine, I enjoyed you, and um, if you want to know what I'm gonna be doing, make sure that you follow this channel because I'm going to be talking about this not much more in depth, but in a different type of environment and setting, and I think y'all might enjoy it. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see when I actually announce my new project on the YouTube channel. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the A to Z 2016 Chardonnay? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, time to go work on that secret project. I'll see y'all later.